Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrew and today I'm going to be talking about my TBR for Blackathon because I had literally just made one of my goals this year is I need to read more Black, Indigenous, Person of Color authors and Jesse from Bowties and Books, they posted their video and I bought the merch for it. I'm so excited and I need to just make my list and I've made all the prompts. I've listed them out and I've never really participated in a readathon really so I'm excited. And I have decided to join the, I think it's Hatch Facet team, who is apparently, I guess there was like a lot of theories around like if she's really a villain, like what her gender was, like all kinds of stuff surrounding her as like a historical figure. I mean, I would love to read more about it. It sounds very intriguing, but there are only four prompts, so that's very easy. And I am just going to have an ambitious TBR of, I'm gonna let you know the, the prompts and then the books I'm planning to read for them and then just like, there's so many books about black authors that I'm very intrigued by that I would like to read. But as far as the prompts for this team, the first one is any genre written by just a black trans author. So for this one, I'm going to be reading Felix Ever After by Case and Calendar. All I know is that it follows a trans character who is like, I guess they're trying to like out him as being a trans or something and then like kind of gets blackmailed. It sounds very Simon versus Homo Saving the Agenda, but you know, we're adding in like the trans character situation. So I'm excited for that. And then the next prompt is a black protagonist who is not afraid, not afraid to take up space and be loud. And for that, I'm going to be reading Queenie, which is a contemporary. This is a true contemporary. So I thought this would, I feel like all the reviews for this one say that like the beginning is slow and then the ending is like a really good resolution. So I'm not sure how I'll get along with that, but, but it sounds like she's going to be this character who she's broken up with her boyfriend and then she's starting to question like all of her decisions about her life and who are you and what are you doing? And I mean, same. So <laughs> hopefully that will be cathartic in that sense. And then for the next prompt is if it's mainly set in one setting or a large architecture. So I already have checked out My Sister the Serial Killer and also The Bells by Danielle Clayton. I think they are, I don't know if My Sister the Serial Killer is in one spot, but I know The Bells I think is in just like one spot the whole time. So, and I know, I don't know, I've never read anything by Danielle Clayton, so I'm intrigued by that. And I mean, the My Sister the Serial Killer is like really short, it's only four hour audiobook, so no reason not to just include that. And then, a book that explores class, I have I have Cherish Vera, which is which is supposed to be get out-ish, I think. And then I really want to be extra and I want to read the group book for all the groups, just because. And one of them is Riot Baby, which I think also feels fills the prompt for like class as a topic in the book. And fake it till you bake it, just because it sounds cute. And she would be king, which Jesse said was one of their favorite books, so I just want to read that for them. Yeah. And then in just terms of like other other books by black authors that I just also want to read. I have Concrete Rose, The Secret Lives of Church Ladies, and All Boys Aren't Blue. Because I saw this one was like the, one of the number and the number one or number two most banned books of last year, the year before. So, and I know it's like LGBT, so I just read it for that reason. So yeah, I will just be like making the TBR and then hopefully participating in some live shows if I can. We'll see. I've never, like I said, I've never really done it. I don't know if I'm gonna do the Instagram prompts. Like, I'm not really a bookstagrammer, kind of. I mean, like, I have one, it's, you know, but that's just like making, <laughs> I just wanna read the books and talk about people, talk about the books with people and just kind of have, just kind of have that be it because I like things to be low key, just simple. And bookstagram is a lot of work that I don't really have all the energy for, but my DMs are there. So speaking of, I will have my Instagram, it'll, my Goodreads, and my Twitter. It will all be in the description for you to check out if you would like. Otherwise, I think that will do it. Have a great day. Bye.